Oh, so you managed to get here at last, Behringer? Oh, oh morning, Jean. Late as usual, of course. Our appointment was for 11.30 and now it's practically midday. <laughs> I'm sorry, have you been waiting long? No, I've just arrived myself, as you saw. Oh. Oh. In that case, I don't feel so bad if you only just... It's different with me. I don't like to wait. I've no time to waste, and as you're never on time, I come late on purpose at a time when I presume you'll be there. Uh, now, don't try to pretend you're ever on time. <laughs> no, you're right. Quite right. There you are, you see? Whoa. <laughs> what are you drinking? You mean to say you've got a thirst even at this time in the morning? It's so hot and dry. The more you drink, the thirstier you get. Popular science tells us that. It would be less hot and we'd be less thirsty if they'd invent us some scientific clouds in the sky. That wouldn't help you any. You're not thirsty for water, Beringer. I don't understand what you mean. You know perfectly well what I mean. I'm talking about your parched throat. There's a territory <laughs> that can't get enough. To compare my throat to a piece of land seems... You're in a bad way, my friend. In a bad way? You think so? I'm not blind, you know. You're dropping <sighs> with fatigue. You've gone without sleep again. You yawn all the time. You're dead tired. <laughs> There's something the matter with my hair. You reek of alcohol. I have got a bit of a hangover, it's true. It's the same every Sunday morning. Not to mention the other days of the week. Oh no, it's less frequent during the week because of the office. And what's happened to your tie? Lost it during your orgy, I suppose. Oh, you're right. That's funny. Whatever could I have done with it? Here, here's a tie, put this one on. Thank you. That is kind. Your hair's all over the place here. Here's a comb. Thank you. You haven't even shaved. Just take a look at yourself. Oh, my tongue's all coated. I'm not surprised. Ooh. You're headed for cirrhosis, my friend. Do you think so? Huh. Keep the tie. I've got plenty more. You always look so immaculate. Clothes are all crumpled. It's a positive disgrace. Your shirt is downright filthy and your shoes, your shoes haven't even been touched. What a mess you're oh. in. It's a positive disgrace. I feel ashamed to be your friend. You're very hard on me. I have every reason to be. Listen, John, there are so few distractions in this town. I get so bored. I'm not meant for the work I'm doing every day at the office, eight hours a day and only three weeks holiday a year. When Saturday night comes, I feel exhausted. And so, you know how it is, just to relax. My dear man, everybody has to work. I spend eight hours a day in the office, the same as everyone else, and I only get three weeks off a year. And even so, you don't catch me willpower, my good man. But not everybody has as much willpower as you do. I can't get used to it. I just can't get used to life. Everybody has to get used to it. Or do you consider yourself some superior being? Uh, I don't pretend to be. I'm just as good as you are. I think with all due modesty, I may say I'm better. The superior man is the man who fulfills his duty. What duty? His duty. His duty as an employee, for example. Oh, yes. His duty as an employee. <laughs> Where did your debauch take place last night? If you can remember. We were out uh, celebrating Agustin's birthday. Our friend, Agustin. Our friend, Agustin. I was not invited to our friend Augustine's birthday. Well, I couldn't have refused. That would not have been nice. Did I go there? Well, perhaps it was because you weren't invited. <laughs> True. I was not invited. 
That honor was denied me. But I can assure you that even if I had been invited, I would not have gone. Because I... What is going on? All of these things that we did, and that we did more of them. What is it? I mean, I... What's going on?